Good morning, this is Pastor Mark Akiti welcoming you to the daily broadcast of the prophetic world. We thank God for our encounter once again today, a brand new day, Tuesday, the 14th of September. I pray that God Almighty will do you good, especially today, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Oh, Lord our God, we appreciate you. We thank you, Lord, for another day. Another day to declare your goodness. Another day to declare your power. To declare your majesty. What a great God you are. We're praying and asking today the Lord that you will reach out and touch every one of us Lord at our very points of need because we are all different but because Lord you are the omniscient God you know what our needs are reach out to my listeners and touch them at their points of need minister to them in the name of Jesus give them reason to celebrate today in Jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah sometimes in life you make all the confessions and keep making the right confessions don't make the wrong confessions but sometimes in life some things happen to you that are not according to your plan something come your way that are not the way you envisage it to be but you have a choice you may not be able to decide what actually happens in some situations in your life but you have a choice to choose how to respond to every situation your response is what matters your response the work will have been a negative situation is what turns it around. Choose how to respond. Respond positively to every situation. Respond with the word of God to every that the enemy throws you away. Respond with the word of God to anything that is meant to work against you. Your response turns it around. In the name of Jesus, have a confession, a positive one, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to also know, no matter what you're going through, no matter the challenges in your life right now, God has you in mind. God knows exactly what you're going through. And God has asked me to tell you this morning, that there is help on the way help is on the way help is coming for you hallelujah genesis chapter 18 and in verse 1 the bible says and the lord appeared unto him in the plain of mambre and he sat in a tent door in the heat of the day and the lord appeared unto him that person there is abraham the Lord appeared unto Abraham in the place of Mamre, and he sat in the tenth door in the heat of the day. In the life of Abraham, a day came that things were so hot in his life. Sometimes challenges come, battles come tensions come. Abraham sat in his bedroom. The, battle, the challenges he was going through were too hot for him. There was so much heat in his bedroom. He moved to the sitting room. There was so much heat in the sitting room. Abraham left the sitting room and went outside. If, if inside is hot, imagine how outside would be. And the Bible says it was the heat of the day. He went outside in the heat of the day to get more heat but it needed mercy sometimes in life challenges problems come your way you look at here you see heat heat 
sometimes it is financial heat sometimes it's an emotional heat sometimes it is a circumstantial heat heat coming from challenges in your business economic challenges national challenges with situation in the world covid covid own challenges covid inflated challenges government inflated challenges policies heat heat emanating from policies from government heat emanating from the situations and the challenges that are welling against your life against your plans and against your purpose and in the midst of those heat as i said you are going to melt but i want you to know you will not melt under the heat you will not melt under that financial heat you will not melt under that economic heat you will not melt you will not be suffocated by that health heat in the name of jesus wherever heat is coming into your life heat financial heat 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 coming from symptoms in your body health heat heat coming from from battles challenges difficulties that you have to face to make ends meet to solve one problem meet one need or the other i want you to know that god is aware of the situation god is aware very much aware of all you are going through the bible says in the heat in the heat of the day when things were so hot for abraham when heat was so much to sleep he could not sleep to rest he could not rest in his bedroom there was no comfort in his life there was no comfort maybe you are in the same situation today you look at your bank account and there's no comfort coming from your bank account look at that business you are invested so much in and there's no comfort coming from that business look at that marriage you are invested in so much and there's no comfort coming from that marriage look at those children you have invested so much in and there's no comfort coming from those children look at things that you have poured your life into over the years yes you have not seen any tangible result heat on everywhere but when abraham face this heat the bible said the angel of the lord came to him in the heat of the day i'm announcing to you today that in the midst of that heat in the midst of that heat heaven is sending help to you god your god and my god is sending help to you help is coming to you in that situation help is coming to you in that business help is coming to you in that foreign land help is coming to you in that foreign land where you don't seem to know anybody you don't have anybody to turn to you don't have you don't know where your help is coming from help is coming to you by god destiny helpers are going to rise for you god is raising up help for you god is raising up help for you there's somebody god has sent me to today you've been in the foreign land for years this person has been in the foreign land for years four years this person i'm saying is more than is more than five years i've seen somebody within five to ten years you've been in the foreign land and it's been all struggle and struggle and struggle just survivor just survive trying to survive every now and then i announce to you in the name of jesus that help is coming your way help is coming your way god is terminating that struggle in the name of jesus that foreign land where you are shall be a land of ease a land of peace for you from today in the name of jesus hallelujah let's pray together i pray for everyone connected to this unction today i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice whatever is the heat that they are passing through financial heat 
spiritual heat emotional heat economic heat national heat health heat whatever the kind of heat they are passing through lord i ask in the name of jesus that lord you release your mighty hand of power upon their lives you are the one oh god who stepped into the fire you are the devil through Shadak, Meshach, and a big nigo into, and you turn their fire into an air conditioned room. And they walked in the midst of their fire. Lord, I pray that you release ease, comfort into the life of your people now. In Jesus' name, I pray for divine intervention in every area of their lives in the mighty name of jesus just as help came to abraham in the heat of the day let help come to this your children let the help they dearly need come to them right now in jesus name father let them encounter you in your awesome mercy let them encounter you in the multitude of your tender mercies. Let your mercy do for them what no one can do for them. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is a crisis in their lives, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let those crises be resolved by your mercy. Let those crises be resolved by your mercy. Let your mercy prevail in their lives in jesus name let your mercy roll away all these mountains all these obstacles in the name of jesus thank you my father thank you O god almighty in jesus name i pray for anyone under the sound of my voice have any health condition any health condition whatever name it is called Whatever name the sickness is, I bring it under the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon your head, upon your head, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I declare you healed in Jesus' name. And by the power in the superior blood of Jesus, will flush your system supernaturally will flush your system will flush every atom of sickness and disease from your entire body in jesus name be healed in the name of jesus be healed in jesus name amen hallelujah god bless you it's well with you in the name of jesus if you are listening to us today and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you just have to do it now. Make this confession after me. So, Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and forgive me my sins. I accept Jesus Christ into my heart today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Hallelujah. We we'll rejoice with you for that confession, that decision you have made in Jesus' name. You can reach out to us on our telephone number plus two three four eight zero five eight zero 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 four four two or send us an email God at answers by fire at gmail.com with your prayer request, cancer, whatever it is in Jesus' name. I want you to also know that this broadcast is available on the Telegram platform. You can search for our name, Prophetic Word and Prayers on Telegram and join the channel and you get these messages also on the Telegram. And this broadcast is also available on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Flame Minds Television. Search for Flame Minds Television on YouTube and subscribe and you'll be getting these messages on YouTube. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I draw, I want you to know that you need to share this message. Don't keep this message yourself. Share this message to everybody in your contact, in your group. As you're sharing it, it's the blessings of God that you're sharing, pushing to their lives. And God will bless you in return. In Jesus' name. Amen. As you are coming your way again tomorrow. Amen. Bless. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shalom.